What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Feared Gaming YouTube channel. As you can tell, it is loud as shit where we are. And it has been a while since I posted a video, so therefore I decided it was time. And today I have for you a new mod for 1.3 here on American Truck Simulator. It is the Peterbilt 579, the 2022 version by Frank Peru. It is a free mod link to download. It will be in the description down below. And I do got to say, I like what I see so far, but we are going to, I usually try to start the truck before we get in the truck, but we're going to go ahead and get in the truck here. Actually, the truck's already on, so. The motor's a little quieter than I like, but that's fine. Uh, it's a newer style truck. Uh, this truck is supposed to be ran as an automatic, however, I'm running it as a standard. Because, uh, why not? Uh, today's journey, we are going... From Portland, Oregon, we will go up to Port Angeles and Washington. Going to be the route that we're running today. We're going to go up the 5 and then get on the 101 and go over to Port Angeles. And yeah, uh, give you guys some information as we go along here on why videos have taken so long and what's going on in my real life. But first things first, let's get the hell out of here because it's noisy as shit here. if I remember how to drive. I thought that guy was going to run that red light for a minute. He is going to run it. He definitely ran that light before it changed. Most definitely ran that light before it changed. Dude, grind him if you got him, buddy. Get up here and see what exit we got to take. Some of these exits are like spaghetti. Oh, we definitely want to go north, that's for sure. We are hauling some scrap metal today, if you guys seen the trailer, so. A little bit on the heavy side, which is fine. Old girl can handle it. Well, I guess it's not old girl. I guess it'd be new girl can handle it. This does have a bunch of customization options. Uh, it does have those uh, camera mirrors that would hang like right there. Uh, I don't care for those, so I didn't put them on. I know there's a lot of people that are really into those mirrors. That's just annoying to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Uh, I do like the, inch, the dash on the new one, which makes sense because it is... A newer truck so it is digital the only thing I don't like is the fuel gauge is the, the fuel gauge does not work <laughs> I did let the guy know that that needs addressed <laughs> I mean luckily for us we have secondary options to be able to check our fuel and whatever so but uh yeah, I really actually like this truck. I was surprised. I usually don't care much for the the newer modeled ones that the modders put out, but I actually I can get down with this truck. I actually like it. So, 
I will. I do highly recommend this truck if you want to give it a shot. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Are they green? They are green. They're green. Floor it. <laughs> Although I don't see that boat anywhere, so I still don't. I I don't trust that bridge ever. Never do I trust that bridge. But, like I said, this is a free mod. The link to download it is in the description below. Definitely worth a shot, especially with it being free. Uh, feel free to share it with friends. You can run it in Convoy. We've already tested that. It worked just fine. Uh, usually, if we run Convoy, if we're running mods, we don't put a whole bunch of mods in there. Usually, we'll pick like one modded truck. Uh, one map and some sound engines if we want. Uh, D-Bag and I actually have the same sound pack, so we usually leave those in there. But if you want to run a modded truck, uh, I suggest y'all pick a truck and run one truck. Because as soon as you start throwing a bunch of trucks in there, it starts getting a little laggy. So... Our rule of thumb is we pick one truck, one modded truck, and go have a little blasty blast. Uh, believe it or not, I actually did get back on Truckers MP just last night. I got on with Dragon, was doing a couple runs with him. Uh, there was like literally nobody on, just a few of us. Uh, it was about eight o'clock at night, and I think. The most people that we've seen on the U.S. server in American Truck Simulator was 100 people. Which is kind of what happens whenever you have 12-year-olds uh, modding your shit, so. Little power-hungry 12-year-olds, so. Kind of a given. Uh, I honestly swore that I'd never get back on there, but Dragon asked me to get on there with him last night, and I... Uh, I obliged to my little sidekick buddy that I haven't played with in a whole a while. Uh, recent videos haven't been coming out, and uh, I haven't really been really gaming gaming like I used to. Is uh, my new job? Uh, I am a bus driver, of course. Uh, however, I am on call six days a week, so if they call me, I pretty much don't really have a choice. I got to go. Uh, and that's just been beating me down a little bit. I'm still getting used to the life again. I'm used to having a weekly schedule and knowing what I work. So uh, I don't know what I work for my job until the, the day before. So like today, I'll find out by one o'clock today what I work tomorrow. And again, I'm always I'm on call six days a week. So just getting used to the life. I mean, it's not really an excuse as far as my YouTube channel should be concerned, but, uh, also, I needed a little bit of a creative break, because there for a while, my videos were doing really well, and then it just tapered off and just died, so, when you gotta take a step back, take a deep breath, and just think about what you're doing and everything. Uh, of course, I'm not leaving American Truck Simulator anytime soon because uh, I love this game. Uh, I have a full setup specifically just for this game. So, I'm definitely not leaving American Truck Simulator anytime soon. Uh, I've been playing a little bit uh, other games, though, like Satisfactory. Uh, I have live streamed some Apex Legends with uh, Jeff, a.k.a. Squirrel, over on... Which geezers. So I mean I'm still around. It's, I'm not like completely disappeared. Uh I was posting a video, an ATS video each week, and like I said, it started tapering off, so I I just I I just don't know. So I took some time off and just relaxing, spending time with the family, playing 
you know, random games that I wanted to play. Also, I had a cable go out on my uh, Logitech shifter. I had to, I had to get it replaced, which it's now fully replaced and everything, so it's good to go. And just normal, normal bullshittery. I mean, it's nobody's fault but my own. So, uh, YouTube is a hobby. I don't get paid for YouTube, so. It all comes down to, like, my mental capabilities and everything else. I love recording videos. I love editing videos. Sometimes I like recording more than editing, but, you know, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to play the game and just record? Uh, editing's time-consuming, and you're re-watching everything that you literally just did, so. But I don't pay for editors or anything like that. That's, no. The only people I can understand paying for editors are big people that, you know, have to pump out like seven videos in a day. If you're only posting a video a day or a video a week, you should be doing it all yourself. But that's also why I'm still a small YouTuber, you know, maybe I'm, they know something I don't. I do know there are some small YouTubers that pay people to edit their videos and it just seems like a waste of money. I mean, these people do a great job, don't get me wrong, but if you're passionate about doing YouTube, you should be passionate about doing it all. So, I mean, there are times, like, I've sat down and I've recorded a few videos and left them sit there because I didn't feel like editing that day, but for the most part, if I set it up and whatever, I'm going the full distance, so... this video here as soon as I'm done shooting it uh, I will go edit it and then it'll be ready to go the only thing I might have to do later on is actually edit a thumbnail for it and that's only because I have to go back to work yet so if it wasn't for that it would be all done and uploaded today but that's a perfect world I still have to go back to work yet Got to go drive the bus. Plus, our weather's pretty crappy right now. Getting a little bit of ice storm going through. The lag spike there. That was nice. Haven't had that in a while. I will give this guy some credit. Speed limit picked up. He picked up. Oh, their speed limit's 55, and we're doing 50 here, pal. Oh, this is a windy road, so I guess safety's key. Forty-five's not twenty-five, there, sir. But we are coming into Port Angeles. For us to drop off our scrap metal. Grocery delivery, it's awesome. Walmart. I do have a real company mod in here too, by the way. ATS did not put Walmart in their game, that's for sure. get through town here. 
Been a while since I've been over here. Next date, of course, coming out is Texas. I don't know when. Whenever they announce it to come out, I guess, because I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not staying behind these guys the entire entire line down, that's for sure. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, that actually... No, okay, that doesn't work in a single player. Going down there, yeah, 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 okay. I was expecting the map to pop up, like the uh, the map overlay. <laughs> that didn't work. Like we're on a hill. Guess we're not. I just stalled the truck. Oh, that would be why. I was still in my high gears. I was still out of range. Oh, my ears itchy. Interior of this truck's really nice, though. Got, my, got a plushie back there. Ladder. Top bunk. Like I said, I, I don't really show much of the interiors very often because there's so many different mod packs for that that interiors can be well done or they can just be half-assed run together. So, I don't ever really cover much with interiors, but this one is, that one is this one is nice. My main thing is the sound in the mirrors. Truck is not very torquey. I got a feeling if I ran it as an automatic, it'd be slow as molasses. Like I say in every video though, if there is a mod you would like me to check out, please post it in the comments down below. I am more than willing to check out any mods that y'all so choose. Otherwise I just randomly go in and check them. I honestly check the forums and that every day to see what mods, any new mods or anything like that come out. I don't really do, I don't really review a whole lot of uh, map mods and stuff either, but I mean, I can, if that's what you want to see, all you got to do is let me know. You know, I'll break out coast to coast and whatever, if y'all want me to review stuff like that, uh, don't bother me. Oh, we're going like way back here, aren't we? The bumpy road. Probably shouldn't be going as fast as I am, but. Back here to the scrap piles. I am running my wheel with uh, standard force feedback, the default settings, so. SCS finally did something really, really well. 
because the default settings on the uh, wheel actually feel pretty good. Nice, I don't have to mess around changing it all the time every time there's an update now. Uh, here and around. Look at all that scrap. Looks like money. All right, let's get her in here. side fan we is off to the side all right it's been a while I gotta get the rust off Here will be a perfect part job. I can hear that down, that window up, four ways off. Truck off and deliver. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Quick five grand. Not bad. Still level 128. Still not bad. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The 2022 Peterbilt 579 by Frank Peru for 1.43. If you want to check this mod out, again, link in the description down below. It is free. So go enjoy and have fun. And I will see you guys in the next video, but I'm not exactly sure when that'll be, but it will be soon. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you want to, hit that like button for me just to make me feel a little bit better about myself. And you guys have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video.